Hello grade 8, let's continue our revision part 3. Number 32, find the unknown angle measure to the angle of supplementary. We know that what is the meaning of supplementary is the sum of the two angles uh, equal 180. So, supplementary angle for 17A equal 102. 33, number 33, find the unknown angle measure. Uh, as shown in figure, the angle F is supplementary to angle 58. So the angle F, uh, F equal 180 minus 58 equal 122. Find the unknown angle. Okay. The two angles G and 90 feet are vertical angles. So our vertical, the vertical angles are equal. So angle G equal 90 in figure measure uh, angle 1 and 3 are vertical 2 and 4 are vertical if angle 4 equal 100 so angle M uh, angle 2 equal angle 4 and angle 2 are vertical so they are equal so uh, measure angle 2 equal 100 36 in the figure, the angle are formed by transversal and two parallel lines. Which angle seem to be congruent? As shown in figure, we know that we have transversal angle and two parallel lines. We have eight angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Four angles are equal and four angles are equal. The acute angles are equal and obtuse angles are equal. As shown in figure, angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent because they are vertical. Angle 1 and angle 7 are congruent because they are vertical. Uh, Angle 1 and angle 7 are internate interior angle, so 1 and 7 are congruent, 1 and 5 congruent because they corresponding angle, so we have for angle equal 1, 3, 5 and 7 are congruent, and 2, 4, 6 and 8 are congruent. So the answer number 8. In the figure, line G, parallel line H, find the measure of angle 4. Okay, angle 4 and angle 161 corresponding angle. So Angle 4 equal 161. Find measure uh, find M in the acute ang uh, triangle. Okay. The sum of the three angles of any triangle equal 180. So angle M equal 180 minus 66 plus 52. Number 39, find G in the right triangle. Okay. In any right triangle, the sum of these two angles must equal 90. So, G equal 90 minus 56 equal 34. Find the angle measure in the equilateral triangle. In equilateral triangle, its angle equal 60 degree. Because 60 plus 60 plus 60 equal 180. Find the angle measure in the scaling triangle okay in, the, in any triangle summation of the three angles are equal 180 so 3f plus 60f plus f equal 180 uh, by adding uh, this side 3 plus 6 plus 1 equal 10f equal 180 uh, by dividing 10 both sides by 10 so we have f equal 18 
to get 3f 3 times 18 equal 54 to get 6f equal 6 times 18 equal 108 draw triangle with vertices 2 3 3 5 5 3 then perform the following transformation uh, transformation translate for unit list okay let's see the vertices of a triangle are 2 and 3 the origin triangle 2 and 3 3 and 5 5 and 3 okay we need to translate translate four unit left four unit left take any vertex of this triangle and move it four unit left if we take this vertex 1 2 3 and 4 we take this vertex 1 2 3 4 we take this vertex 1 2 3 4 so the answer number B graph the translation of triangle ABC okay 4 unit up and 6 unit left 4 unit up take any vertex and move it uh, four unit up we take b one two three four okay up then move it <coughs> move it uh, six unit left one two three four five six so b dash will be here okay then take vertex c move it four unit up one two three four okay then six unit uh, left one two three four five and six and take vertex a one two three four then six unit one two three four five and six so the image of a will be here is the answer will be number D. Draw triangle with vertices 2, 3, 3, 5, 5, 3. Then perform the following transformation. Reflection across Y axis. Okay. First, draw the origin ver uh, triangle 2, 3, 2 and 3. Okay. It's not true. Means it's not true. 2 and 3 okay 3 and 5 3 and 5 5 and 3 5 and 3 this 2 triangle are true which represent refraction across y axis oh where is y axis this is y axis Okay, the reflection will be in this side. So, number D is true. Triangle EFG has vertices negative 3, 1, 1, 1, 4, 5. Find the co coordinate of the image of point F after reflection across X axis. If we draw uh, these vertices, okay, negative, uh, negative 3 and 1. 1 and 1 4 and 5 and get reflection across the x-axis okay, the distance from axis of uh, uh, symmetry each vertex and its image equal or equal this distance must equal this distance okay so find uh, find the image of point the image of point F will be 1 and negative 1. As we take uh, from our rules, uh, the uh, reflection across X axis will change the sign of Y. So F equal 1 and 1. So 
the image will be one and negative one. Change the sign of y. Okay, one will be negative one. Okay, number forty-six completes the figure. Uh, the dashed line is the line of symmetry. So, is the line of symmetry act as mirror? So, number A is not true. Number C not true. So, the answer will be number B. Okay, thank you and goodbye.